Um, the next thing I'm going to show you how to do is how do you use Google Docs to create a blog or website. Um, so when you're logged into your Google Docs account, and I'm logged into my Elmwood Google Docs account here, I go ahead and I click on Sites, as in Websites, and it forwards me to a place where I can create my own blog or website. So I'm going to go ahead and I've already made up a few here, but I'm going to make another one so I can show you how to do it. And I'll say create. And um, I name my site. So Mr. Perot test is the name of my site. I think I could probably put spaces here, actually. Um, and I can choose a blank template or browse. Uh, a gallery of templates. Right now I'm going to suggest you just use a blank template. I know that sounds extremely boring, but um, just to start setting up and filling your site with content, it makes more sense to start with a blank one and then play with what it looks like afterwards. So get all the content, all the important stuff out that you want on your blog or website, and then worry about what it looks like afterwards. Um, so you can see it gives it a URL down here, so it'll be sites.google.com slash a slash elmwood.ca slash Mr. Pro test site. Uh, I can select themes. Um, again, that's what it looks like. I'll just leave it blank for now. And there are more options. And what I might want to do here by default, everyone at Elmwood can view the site. I can specify only certain people I want to see it. I can let anyone in the world see it. Um, please just leave the top box checked here so everyone at Elmwood can see your site. I think that's what we would like to do. That's the best idea. Now, even though this is checked, that doesn't mean that everyone at Elmwood is going to get an email that says, hey, come look at your site. It just means that if they had the URL, they could go see your website. Um, but no one else in the world can go look at your website. Um, at some point, we might want to make your website public, but it would be good to have it fully checked by your teachers before we did that. Okay, um, I can put categories here if it's about something in particular. Um, bikes. And I might have a description. So Mr. Perot's uh, blog about bikes. And I'm going to say create. So it's going and setting up my web page or a blog now. Okay, so here we go. We can see Mr. Pro's test site is the title. Um, you can search the website. It has a home page and a site map. A site map that sort of shows you how everything is organized. I'm just going to go back to home. And what I'm going to do is click to edit the main page. So I'm on the main home page. I can go ahead and click edit. You might just want to have a one page. Um, web page and that's okay because it's a blog so basically you can write um, so the title right now is home if I wanted to I could put the the word bikes and so hello this is Mr. Pro and this is my blog all about bikes when I'm done editing, I can go ahead and push the big save button up here. Um, I also have the option to add, change text size and all that up here. Bold, italic, underline, all the same formatting stuff you're used to. Centered, all that. I'm going to hit save. And this is what it looks like now. Uh, if I want to um, add another page, I can go ahead and say new page. And I might call this page, so my last one was about bikes. I'll make this one about um, bike wheels. Now I can make this a list. Um, I can make an announcements page if I want. I'm not sure what that means, so I'll just check it out. And I'll say create. So what does this mean? That's page. So new, ah, okay. So this is going to be more like a blog. So I hit new post. I think anyway. Let's find out. Um, and I'll just call this untitled post one. And I'll just put some nonsense here and say save. 
and you can see it shows up there and oh, neat if I click back up in, on bike wheels what, what does it look like okay so there's my first post and I can say new post and let's call this one untitled post 2 put some nonsense and hit save and my guess is that if I click up here on bike wheels they should show up in reverse order yeah so just like a blog so there's blog post number one and there's blog post number two and so maybe if you were to create a blog your best bet is to have page one here as a description telling everyone what your page is about and then create an announcements page the way I just did and have your blog posts there just like that okay so I just created a really exciting blog just like that